Hey guys, I'm at the Macau airport, ready to get back on the road. I have gained five kilos from Chinese New Year, and I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Here in Macau Airport, I think they say it in Cantonese and Mandarin and in English. So they speak. This message will repeat three times. I've tried to film this video so much, I keep having to stop it, but I'm not going to stop anymore. I'm just going to bully through all of these uh, announcements that come over the PA. Because I spent an extra week or so uh, waiting for the diagnosis from Annie, I lost a week that I should have been riding. I'm very very uh, slim as far as days go uh, on on the road once I get back to Sapa to ride all the way back uh, uh, into Laos, out of Laos, into Vietnam and be ready for my cave expedition. I'm a little bit worried. I, I, when I get back to Hanoi, I'm spending two nights there because I want to film a video uh, about uh, the Hanoi Hilton and John McCain, uh, the crash site, which is right in downtown Hanoi. I also want to do a video about the um, the old quarter view hostel which is the hostel that i stayed at uh before which I, I thought was really cool but my camera wasn't recording well at the time and then i'm going to meet up with a vlogger i know here from china uh his name is globic and uh, so i'll meet with him probably tomorrow i'll also pick up a new phone i got a um an iphone 8 plus i actually went on a facebook group in vietnam and i just put like a Hey guys, anybody have a phone they're looking to get rid of? Yeah, upgraded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a really nice phone, pretty good deal. I'm gonna meet that guy in Hanoi and pick that up as well. I've got my bag here. I also have a bag of luggage that I'm gonna take back to Sapa. And that's gonna have like a whole bunch of bicycle parts. A new chain, a bunch of stuff from HP, a bunch of stuff from uh, T-Cycle. I'll go through it all with you. I also want to go to the peak of Fonsapan. Fonsapan is the tallest peak in Indochina. There's two ways to get up it. You can either take a climb, and they take like a full day or two days, or you can do it with a, a, like a tram. So I think I'm gonna do that and I'm going to take the tram and I'm going to stand at the top of Fonsapan. I know it's kind of cheating to take the tram, but I'm really tight on time. By the time I get back on the road, I'm going to have less than three weeks to travel 1,700 kilometers in some of the most mountainous regions I've ever traveled in. I can't, I can't think and listen to these, these PA messages at the same time. It's, it's really difficult for my brain to contemplate because I'm trying to think about what to talk to you guys about, but it's so loud. I mean, they do, do a good job. The lady's voice is, is, is completely penetrated. It's bouncing around my skull. Anyways, so um, I'm going to uh, have to book it. Um, I've got like five 1,000 plus meter climbs. I mean, that's big time for me. Um, and Matt is going to meet me in the capital of Wow. Matt is the backpacker. I, a friend of mine, he, he met me on my Kathmandu excursion. Actually, he, he was with me just before my first bucket list item, which was climbing Everest. And now he's going to be with me for like basically my number two bucket list item which is going to be uh, doing the cave, the largest cave system in the world expedition in, in Vietnam. So he's going to meet me in, in Laos, and then we're going to take the trike, and we're going to put it under a bus, and we're going to drive, uh, hopefully, as close as we can to, to the uh, cave expedition. Oh, my brain can't take it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit. There's no way that I can travel 1,700 kilometers in less than three weeks, especially in the terrain I'm gonna be riding. So along the way, I'm gonna have to get a ride, and I think I'll do it with Matt once I get to uh, Vientiane, I think Vientiane, and then we'll ride to the hopefully ride to the point of the cave expedition. Time is gonna be super tight. There should be some interesting things along the way. It means that my time in Laos is not gonna be as long as I had hoped, but we're gonna make the best of it and we're gonna enjoy it. I'm, I'm excited. Every time that uh, I get to this position to get back on the road after a, after a break, I'm like a little apprehension, a little nerve, a little worry, but it gets easier and easier every time. But again, I'm, I'm like, ah. Oh. 
I'm so fat right now and lazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get back. I, I yo-yo, you know. I yo-yo like this. But I thought I'd give you guys a little update, let you know uh, my my take on things. Maybe I'll catch up with you a little bit later. I've got the Osmo Pocket with me. I've got a bunch of bike stuff to change. I've got uh, uh, a lot of work done on the website back end and things like that. I've moved a bunch of pieces on the board of the Jio game forward. So um, I'm bigger, better, badder. Every time I take these breaks, I try to return to the road a little bit better, a little bit stronger, a little bit wiser, a little bit more prepared. And uh, I think uh, I've accomplished that this time as well. So cool. Yeah, that last video I, I uploaded, the one about the downsides in China or Asia, that one has some fantastic comments. Some of you guys related to those in your own travels, and not even in, in China or Asia. It was, it was nice. You added a whole bunch of interesting points. I like that, but I always thought that was going to be a boring video to make because it's just me standing and talking. But some of you guys really enjoyed listening to it, so I thank you for that. It was a list I've been building for a long time. I've been trying to like put together some different uh, points that that I thought about on the topic and uh, we were at Dongqian Lake and I was like it's a beautiful place to do a video recording my new passport it is too new it needs some mileage I look like a traveler newbie <laughs> I'll tell you what it is gonna be really nice to get away from uh, that cold Ningbo weather, get back to the warmth. Although if I get too much, I hear Vietnam is like super hot now. Go from, from dreary cold rainy to sunny and hot. I'm gonna get fried, especially on some of those big uphills. I got I got another uphill when I when I start, because I am starting at about 1500 meters. I gotta go up to 2000 and then I come all the way down. And then I go up again and down and up and down and up and down. There's a lot of zigzagging. <laughs> 